Hey guys, welcome back to Phil Plays TCG. Today we are going over the big reveals that were dropped yesterday at the time of recording this video. Uh, today is the 7th of October. I didn't really have time to make a video yesterday. I was unfortunately very, very busy all day. Uh, and I want to talk about the reveals today. So if you like Dragon Ball Super Fusion World content, you should hit that like button. You should hit the subscribe button. Uh, we do lots of Dragon Ball Super Fusion World uh, you know, con uh, content here. Oh my God, sorry. It is, it is early here today. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's try to get this video to 50 likes. I would very much appreciate that, guys. We just hit 2,100 subs. Thank you so much. Uh, really, really, thank you so much for everything, guys. We are getting to our goals, you know, every day, little bit by little bit. Uh, next goal is 2,500 subs. Let's see if we can uh, make that happen by the end of the year. That would be fan. Fantastic. I would very much appreciate that. All that YouTube stuff out of the way. What we got is two new leaders, a couple more super rares, and I'm sorry, alt art leaders, two more super rares, and some other alt art variants. So we're going to go over that today, starting with Gohan. Oh my god, I love this artwork. Uh, it is the ultimate Gohan, the blue leader for set four. Uh, we've kind of gone over it, but just as a reminder, he draws on the front side, awakens at four, then... On its backside, you may discard one card from your hand during your turn. The next time you use a extra with both Saiyan and Earthling in a special trait, it's very particular, it has to have both. Uh, you could reduce its cost by two, which is very interesting. We have only seen one card so far revealed in the set that can use that. That is Galactic Donut, but we'll have to see the rest of it. I can't start pra uh, practicing this deck or proxying anything because I need to see the rest of the uh, extra card. So it is a bit unfortunate, but we're talking about the artwork here. The artwork is fantastic. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see what this looks like in foil. Uh, I I have every single alternate art blue leader in this game and I'm going to keep that trend up. So uh, yeah, I, I love this. This is a fantastic piece of art. Uh, next up we have the red UI Goku. And once again, I love this artwork. There are some people that say they prefer the, the art for the base leader, which is fine. I can definitely understand that, especially in the front side here. But for the most part, I I really like this. Once again, I can't wait to see what it looks like in person. You know, with all the gold foily magic. Uh, basically, draw one on the front. It wakens at three life. And when you're when you I didn't even realize this at first. When your life is at three or less, flip this card over. You don't get to draw when you awaken. You also don't get to draw on the back side, which is huge. So this leader just stops drawing pretty much once it flips over. Choose it to one battle card. I'm sorry, choose up to one battle card in a battle area, and this card's ba original power becomes the same as that card's power for the battle. This allows you to target your opponent's cards, your cards. It's just gross. If you're playing against Green and they had a Broly on board, guess what? Now you can just make your leader a free Broly swing. That's insane. But we're talking about the artwork here. This artwork is amazing. I, ugh, I can't wait to see the rest of the artwork. Hopefully they'll release the leaders, the rest of the alt art leaders soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, we have a couple new SR cards. Uh, let's start off with this three drop 20k zero combo power Super Baby 1. On play, play up to one battle card with a cost of two or less and brainwashed or machine mutant machine mutant and its special traits from your hand. So you get a you essentially get five energy worth of plays for three. Solid enough. Once per turn, auto. When a card is used in a combo from your battle area, while well, this card is in a battle, draw one. This goes very well with the leader ability, allowing you to combo cards that are in rest mode. So you can swing with it, then combo with it on defense if need be, which will then trigger this card, allowing you to draw one. That's really good. I I think Baby could be a very... Uh, once again, continuing on with the very hyper aggressiveness of uh, black decks being able to draw a lot. I'm, I like this. This is pretty neat. Next, we have Majin Buu Evil. Um, don't know why we're just calling, not calling him Super Buu, but yeah. Um, is a three cost 25k body with 5k combo power. It is Buu Han. I, I love it. I remember this exact scene from the anime. It's really, really cool. Activate main ones per turn. K up to one of your battle cards. Draw one card. Then, if your opponent has six or more cards in their hand, your opponent discards one card from their hand. Solid stuff. So, somebody told me that you can actually use... You can choose to KO 
Um, you can choose to KO Majin Buu, like the SR Buu, but I I was under the impression you can't choose that because Barrier kind of is a universal thing. You can't choose it because Barrier says you cannot. it cannot be the chosen target of skills. Or is it in this game is only the chosen, it's only, it's only the targeted skills of your opponent. Let me know in the comments. I'm still a little confused by that because I was unaware that you could choose SR Boo, but if you can, then that does create that combo loop, allowing you to KO it, discard one, bring it back, but then you get to draw one card, so you're replacing Boo's, uh, you're replacing the card you just you uh, discarded because uh, of bringing back Boo, and then if your opponent has six or more cards to him, they have to discard one. Very interesting. It's a three cost, 25k body though. Really good stat lines. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, next up we have Nappa. You know what? I was dumb and I read this card and I was like, this card is is booty cheeks. But upon reading it, I'm like, actually no, this is actually pretty solid. It is a three cost, 30k body, zero combo power. On play, choose one. Add up to one card from your life to your energy in rest mode. So it allows you to ramp in energy as well as, you know, taking yourself down in life. Uh, if you have no, Veg or sorry, the other option is if you have no Vegeta cards, this card can't attack for the turn. So basically, you need to make sure you have a Vegeta card on play if you wish to attack with it. If you don't, this card, you, you have to choose one. So if you don't have a Vegeta in play and you choose, choose to play Nappa, you have to take a life to your energy. Uh, but if you do have a Vegeta on play, this card is pretty darn good. 30k body for three? Damn. This thing hits like a brick shithouse, man. Sorry I'm swearing, but you know what? It, I, I feel like it deserves it. <laughs> uh, but pretty cool. Green is looking to be a very, very interesting departure from the standard green gameplay we know of currently. So I'm excited for this, for sure. Next we have... Well, I just want to make sure something here. Uh, FBO4, yep. So this is, I thought this was like a starter deck card, but no, it is uh, It is in the set. It is a Vegeta Mini from Daima, a two cost 15K body with 10K combo power. Permanent, during your turn, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, this card gets 5K power. So they are continuing with the seven cards or less mechanic in hand. So what I heard about blue possibly changing its uh, gameplay style, especially with the Gotenks. I thought maybe, you know, Gotenks would. Uh, that was an indicator of changes to come for blue. Turns out, not necessarily the case. Um, but overall, I think that this card, oh, oh, I'm sorry, hold on. Uh, we haven't even finished it. I'm sorry, I got distracted there for a second. When attacking, choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards and reduce its cost by two for the turn. This is really cool. I like to see that. So basically, you're now able to, if you swing in, you're able to knock something down from six to four, which then is much more easily targetable by cards like Sinister Sickle, uh, Vegeta Double Strike, hell like you can uh, you can make a seven cost go down to a five cost which means it's targetable by vegeto scr there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this and i love to see it we need more cards like this in blue that allow us to manipulate our opponent's battle cost and that could allow us to be much more fluid and more dynamic with our cards and our removal pieces. This is really, really cool. I dig this a lot. And we'll be going over an alternate art version a little later in the video here. Uh, next, we have Sun Goku Mini, uh, another Goku Daima card. Uh, basically, two cost 20k body uh, with 10k combo power. Permanent. If your leader is awakened, this card gets 1,000, sorry, 10,000 power. Holy crap. On your awakened side, this card now becomes a 30k body for two? Is disgusting. That's such a good ratio for combat to cost. But on play, you add up to one card from your life to your hand. So once again, it is a self awakener, but also becomes a 30k body on your awakened side. I can definitely see this being a staple card in red decks for the near future, just because of how good it is. Plus it is a 10k combo power right here. So it's never dead in hand either. Holy crap, this is a very good card. And we'll be going over the alternate version just a little bit. And then of course we got the illustrations for the secret rares uh, going into this next set. Both are six cost, which is very, interesting green uh, i mean red has never had a card cost that much and blue that is a big old cost 
but we have seen other cards like Goku Black and Zeno and stuff like that. But we don't know what these do. We don't know what their powers are. Everything is blank. It is literally just a illustration to show us what these cards look like. My brother didn't make a good point that now out of our two red secret rares and two blue secret rares, both of them are, both red secret rares are UI Goku and both secret rares are Vegito. And then he also mentioned how the green secret rares are both Gohan. So, not saying it's like that it's a bad thing necessarily, but like, I mean, they're I I don't know why they chose like I understand the theme because they're in like you know obviously it's red is focused on tournament of power again, so they've got to have a secret rare that's going to be Goku more than likely, uh, and blue is still in the Boo Saga, which Vegito was a big player in the Boo Saga later on, so I understand why they were chosen, but. We definitely want to make sure the next time we get Seekers and Red or Blue, they're not the same character. Because um, <laughs> now we have to be like six drop Vegito SCR, not four, not necessarily not five drop, six drop to help differentiate that. But I'm excited for them costing six. They've got to do something really big. So I'm hoping for uh, some really cool things with these cards. But I love the artwork. I can't wait to see what the alternate arts look like. Uh, moving on here, continuing on with the alt arts, we have the alt art versions of both uh, Goku and Vegeta from Daima. Um, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I think the Goku art looks pretty cool. I just, every piece of artwork that I've seen with the Daima Vegeta just looks so plain. Like he's just standing there or he's standing there differently, <laughs> you know? Like, he's posing like, mm, arms out like this, or he's got mm, arms crossed like this. Like, that's pretty much all I've seen from this Vegeta. Goku, yeah, he's just got the same pose that this Vegeta has. <laughs> um, but like this one actually shows him like in his battle pose. I don't know. I, I don't know, maybe, I just haven't seen a whole lot of dynamic artwork from the Daima cards. I don't know if they're just trying to keep something secret. I don't know, but. Like, these cards look cool. I, I think they look neat, and I'm excited to see them in person. And I think finally here, yep, finally, we have two more alternate art cards. These are from the starter decks, specifically uh, Shin Mini and Piccolo Mini. Uh, basically, uh, Shin is a four-cost 25k body. I don't think I went over this. I think I may have gone over uh, Piccolo in a previous video, but I don't think about Shin. Uh, Shin here, four cost 25k body. When your battle card with 25k power or more attacks, choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 5,000 power for the turn. Eh, it's okay. Like not not amazing, not great. It's just not bad, it, it, it's, it's okay. 10,000 combo power is pretty cool though. Then of course Piccolo, three cost 20k body. On play, choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards and reduce its cost uh, by one for the turn. Then, if your opponent has a battle card with a cost of two or less, draw one card. So this is good on curve. Specifically on curve. Because if your opponent plays a two cost on their turn, and then you play this three cost, you get to choose one of your opponent's battle cards and reduce it to one, so it becomes a one cost, and then you get to draw one because of his ability. The other option is you go second. You, get, you crack the energy marker, you drop their three cost down to a two cost, and then you get to draw one. Once again, not not amazing, not great. It's not bad, but it's just not good. It, it's okay. These are the starter deck cards, of course, though. Um, that's why the artworks are so similar. It's just you get to you get the full artwork treatment instead of the uh, you know borders. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Going over some of the reveals that we have gotten. It is still review uh, reveal season. There were a couple more cards revealed between yesterday and today. But I will be saving those for another video, uh, probably a little later this week. This week is going to be hectic. We got Dragon Ball's uh, Sparking Zero coming out. I'll be getting mine tomorrow at the time of recording this, which I'll be, I won't lie, I'll be playing a crap ton of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Uh, but I am going to try to get some content out uh, still throughout this week, as well as the fact that I have a friend's wedding this weekend, which I will be going away for. So I'm going to try to get some more content out for you. But yeah, this is the video for today. Thank you so much, guys, for checking out this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Let's try to get this video to 50 likes. I would very much appreciate that. And uh, like the video if, sorry, uh, subscribe to the channel if you liked the content here today. Until the next time, guys.
Take care.